Good morning, lovely people. Um, happy Sunday. Um, I've got a freshly refurbished carb over there. Um, put the video on last night, I finished really late. It was uh, quite a long one, but um, yeah, so I'm fairly content on the carb that it's nice and clean, everything working on it, etc. I've chucked some Jubilee clips on the pipes because um, at least one was a bit loose anyway. Um, I'm going to put that. I'm going to throw that on in a second. Um, all right, okay, so a little bit later, uh, carbs on uh, and secured. Uh, getting the throttle cable back on was a pain in the ass, but I get the strange feeling I'm going to get a knack on that because I don't think this is going to be the first or well, maybe the first, but it won't be the last time I piss around with the uh, carbs. I'm sure. Um, yeah. So what? Um, a Charlie bodge to a nap bodge um, and an admitted bodge because uh, Charlie was trying to do the restriction on the air which is fine and I'm doing exactly the same. My only concern is that over a little bit of time this stuff's quite brittle and I don't want it sucking it through into the engine so I've done exactly the same with some beautiful pink plastic. <sighs> Thanks missus. <laughs> uh, yeah it's fine. It does the job so I'm just gonna uh, do the same on the other on the last two so one's on just clip that one on, two, last two there, and I'll do the same, I'll try and restrict them about the same, maybe a little bit more, and then just, exactly as Charlie did, just poke holes in it until it sounds right. That's assuming it even starts at all. So I'm not getting overly concerned yet. Um, I don't even know if it starts, but I just want to give it as much as a good start as I can to see whether or not it'll work. Um, right, I'll get on with the other two. All right, so that's the, uh, slightly cracked ones, well slightly cracked, they were deteriorating and they were just going to chuck crap down the, uh, down the block. Uh, one, two, three, four, a uh, single hole on them. Um, I'm going to start with uh, restrictions and then uh, poke a few in it I think. Um, you know what, I've talked myself into the tank going up. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Oh, I've got to share this with you. Um, just about to put the tank on, pulled the uh, screwdriver that was on the uh, vacuum hose because obviously running it off a auxiliary tank you need to close off the vacuum. That is Charles' vacuum blocker. I think it's a Phillips for going around corners. Oh come on focus, Jesus look at that. <laughs> That's brilliant. I tell you what mate, if you want it back you're welcome but I might just, uh, um, come on focus, God. Yeah. I might just um, frame that. <laughs> it's just passing on a bit of education here. Uh, Charlie's using this one, if you're not sure which uh, pipe is which. Um, there's three settings on this, prime, on, reserve. There's one already attached and one there, so which is which. So if that is the vacuum one, give it a quick suck. The fuel pops out, yeah, it's the vacuum one. Right, welcome to an exercise in misplaced confidence, <laughs> probably. Um, tank is tagged on, carbs on, although it's worth remembering that they're empty at the moment, so I'm not expecting the brake gun straight off. Uh, not sure which key actually does the ignition.
really sucking on that. Sucking on the. Uh, a level of fuel in the bottom of each one of them, which is great. What I'm going to try and do is give it a bit more air through, see if that helps out at all. Alright, a little bit of adjustment. Now I've poked another hole in the uh, air filters.
I've got good seals on the on the carbs, but it is pissing, absolutely pissing out of the uh, air intake. Um, so it's chucking too much fuel back, way too much fuel back. Um, and I think actually what I'm going to try and do is just set you up so you can see that. So if I drop it a bit. lock those off and you can see the mess it's making I'm just you look at the camera around the side so that doesn't get covered in petrol like everything else is I'm a bit concerned that's going to fall over try that Fuel. So it's getting it, it's draining. And then chucking it all out. So I think it's the float valves are way off. Now they're all the same. I don't really know how to set them. There's no clear line on these like there is on every other set of float valves that I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> it says it's Massive experience. Um, yeah, so what I think what I'm going to do is take it off, take the carbs out, just adjust the float heights because that's they're bent quite far down, which means it's coming up quite high. Yeah, it's, it's got to be the float um, the float heights because um, it's just it's getting there, it wants to go, it's just drowning itself. <laughs> And just piss it out, yeah, it's drowning. Um, float valves, gotta be. Right, everything off, piss around float valves. <laughs> All good fun. Alright, slightly doing my own head in here, trying to work this out as to how this goes. But float height should be 19.4. Now, the issue that I have. Apart from the fact that the pin keeps dropping out and the whole thing drops out. So you can see this. The uh, float pin is bent a long way down. And they're, they're all the same. So from it having contact with, it's having contact with it straight away. Which eventually means, as soon as it gets any fuel in it, because this is upside down, that should push it on which confuses me because that means it should be starving of fuel I think it's bent the other way that will go up higher but as it is it's bent all the way down so it should mean as the fuel fills up bearing in mind that this is on its side not in fact I can't, I'm not going to be able to do it holding it um, so as the water as the fuel level goes um, left to right where it's set at the moment that should be knocking it off really early so I don't know whether it's it can't be more bend there's no bend left in it I have to try it the other way but that means there's more fuel going in that oh, I'm thoroughly confused uh, in fact actually this might help me if I put it the way <laughs> But it actually sits on the bike, balancing it gently with my leg, like all good mechanics. Um, yeah, so that's now the way it would be down is down and up is up. If you can quite see because of the light. Okay, the pin, so that's floating up and should be stopping the fuel flow, but it's not, it's pissing through. which means it's pulling up the fuel it's too much air to, ah that might be it, it's too much air for it, it's just dropping it right okay so I'm going to measure to the point where it just touches try and set it to 19.4 uh, actually what am I on at the moment, I don't have any, I don't have my cutters, I don't know where they've gone 
And the kids borrowed them for a school thing and they disappeared somewhere. So that's just got contact. I do have a really blunt tool. I they stolen my kit. I'll steal theirs. Yeah, so it's just in contact with the pin. And it's 22. Right, if I just try and get it to 19.4 and let the math sort itself out. So give it a bit of a bend and repeat the process several times over. Cool. Right. Straight off the title, what I'm expecting to be different here. We'll see. hands to close, closer, but it's just chucking fuel out the back like no tomorrow. GPZ was doing something similar. I can't remember how we killed it. Let me have a play. Going back to first principles, no restrictions. Engine on. zero restriction and get some life out of it. <laughs> Not for long. So I'm over restricting it. That's a lot better. Right, let me have a think. Right, couple of minutes later. Not my uh, not my neatest job ever. But it's just a bit of um, foam on it. I just want to see if I can restrict it a bit too much just fucking destroyed it nothing and I got something out of it
an idol. <laughs> that damn sight smart now bearing in mind that is upholstery foam <laughs> from a previous reupholstery in a chair that I did um, I don't know whether or not to do backflips sounds rough as fuck but yeah so much of it is exposed there I might try if I try something on those pods I think and see what happens. But no, quite chuffed. Charles. Hey Charlie. I've been playing around with those pods. I don't think it wasn't enough. Uh, it was too much air. I think it wasn't enough because now I've just got some upholstery foam on it. Um, helps if I turn it on. Back away a bit. Just got to find a way of making that look a lot better. <laughs> Right, okay, some uh <laughs> they actually make me laugh, but um tried the pods, tried the foam on the individual ones. Because I do want to see if this moves. And that'd be a lot easier, a lot safer trying to do that than with upholstery foam bungee corded around. Uh, right, let's just see. Get any joy? So not quite the end of day uh, video that I'd hoped to do, but uh, realistically I think I've got about as much done as um, I could have got done. Um, so I tried it on the upholstery foam, it works fine, but the second it starts to get wet, this starts to spit. Um, it is raining, that's not why it got wet, you know, the tiny, little, tiniest little spit of fuel comes through and it just it just snowballs and it gets worse and worse and eventually it saturates it and eventually it just chokes it out and uh, that's exactly what it did um, about four yards away from the house so the shortest ride out ever um, <clears throat> so what pods would in fact I'll just take those off they're not achieving a great deal um, pods would help because there is a greater um, standoff um, to get wet so yeah so if you're looking at a pod on it it's gonna you know come out to about there so it's got more standoff to do it so it's going to be less chance of it choking itself out so pods would probably work however if you look at the design of the bike to start with 
see right at the back in fact you can just see the grill there that's the actual air filter so it's designed to have a front box back box air box um, which gives it that standoff which I think it needs so uh, I'm going to scour Tintra web try and find one um, they are the proverbial rocking horses but let's see what happens um, failing that I pot it um, a few people including Charlie have said that it's impossible to get decent running bike off pods um, I'm inclined to agree um, but we'll see what happens um, the cowling that goes round the front and the back half of the box is going to cover up whatever's in there uh, so it doesn't have to be pretty but it just needs to work and actually um, the one thing that struck me today is um, it does actually need well I think it needs quite a lot of air in um, and actually if you're on about four pipes it's quite big filters there's two of those so yeah it needs a decent amount of air I think um, and the fact that it's been running with no pods on and uh, bare would go away to justifying that um, yeah so oh, a good day you can tell it's a good day my knees are um, just charging up Ernie um, but the old boy's done alright today you can see why Charlie got quite so frustrated with it because it does seem to be one thing then another and it doesn't entirely make sense um, it's not one thing then it's the next then it's the next then it's the next but just the noise this thing makes is incredible and it is fundamentally a ninja engine strapped on a cruiser um, so yeah I'll uh, trawl around on Tintra web see what I can find um, yeah, I really want to find a front box, a uh, 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 air box, although it's not really an air box, but uh, yeah, I really want to find one because um, I just think it's going to run more naturally with what it was designed to have rather than um, uh, something that it's been forced to have. But if I can't, I can't. So what I'm going to do is take one of these in so I can at least measure it up. Um, and see what scores with it but no I'm actually quite chuffed um, so I intended at the beginning of the weekend to uh, strip the carb out and um, do that I have the carb now works fine to a degree um, I do need to check on the uh, float heights again and I might have to find a better way of measuring them rather than a child's ruler um, but they're a lot closer to what they should be and it's been running so um, I'm, I'm chuffed um, would have liked to have got a bit of a go on it but nah didn't work out that way um that's fine it's raining now anyway <laughs> um yeah that's cool um best get up doing a bit of internet shopping i suppose cheers all i will see you next weekend <laughs>